Here. Okay, hey everybody, this is Greg with Freedom Fishing. I'm here tonight with uh, with Josh. He's uh, one of the uh, dock hands here. He's the team lead here in uh, St. Augustine. Uh, Mike's the manager here, and uh, Josh is going to cover with us some of the different boats they have available. And I'm going to do a review later on in the video to talk about my experience. Just want to remind everybody, it's Freedom Fishing, but I am not sponsored by Freedom Boat Club. I have 230 subscribers. They're not going to pay me to be a sponsor. So. I just love the boat club and I just want to do a review on them and so if you're thinking about joining the club uh, here's the different kind of boats they have so let's kick it off with Josh. It's our 21 foot Key West flats boat comes equipped with our six inch Garmin display we have a forward and aft live well plenty of rod storage here in the bow and an insulated uh, front seating cooler and this here is our 150s that we have on all of our flats boats here. All these flats boats are mostly used for inshore fishermen, uh, for skinny water in the creeks and kind of going up and down the intercoastal. This is our 203 Key West. This one comes with a 8 inch Garmin display. Up in the bow here, we have some front seating and some storage for any gear you got. Another insulated ice chest here. In the back, we got the singular live well here, and all of our uh, 203s have the 150s as well, with some rod storage along the gunnel walls on both sides. This vessel here is our 20 foot hurricane deck boats mostly used for larger families going out up to 12 people we have our smaller simrad screen here for navigation and your gauges down here we have a ski locker it goes about eight foot forward and you can fit water skis wakeboards and tubes there on the bow and the stern we have ladders for easier retrieval going to the sandbar or picking up a, a water skier Throughout the boat, there's plenty of storage for any bags and gear you guys have for the day. A couple insulated boxes for cooler storage here and also in the back. Also, this vessel here has a tow bar so you hook up here to not have to worry about any lines getting tangled up in the props. This vessel here is our 24 foot Key West dual console. Up front here, we have plenty of storage under all three of these seats. Bring out the whole family. Back here is the ski locker, just like the dual uh, the deck boat. Fit sticking anchors, any kind of stuff like that. Inside here would be just extra storage and we keep the life jackets in there. You also have some rod storage along this side wall. You have the 8 inch Garmin display for navigation. Plenty of seating up to 9 people on this vessel. Live well here in the back. And this vessel here is kind of a mixture between one of the center consoles and deck boats with the larger bimini and you can still bring out the whole family and fish as well. This one here has a little bit bigger motor than the rest of all of our fleet. This has a 250 Yamaha. So at Freedom Boat Club, we take our safety serious. We make, want to make it nice and easy for all the members. On all the boats are come equipped with either a VHF that's handheld or one that's mounted up on the T-top. We also have all of the call signs of all the channels that you will need on the VHF. Keep all of our flares on board and a whistle. We also have the registration inside there just in case if anybody ever gets pulled over. We also give a secondary map in case anything happens with the Garmin display. We like redundancy here. We have our throwable that's Coast Guard, uh, mandatory Coast Guard for each boat to have. Have the lanyard as well that you need to keep on. So if you're driving and you get knocked out of the seat, this pulls out and it kills that motor from going any further. 
We also have fire extinguishers mounted on every single boat, just in case anything happens out there. So this is where you would come and check in for your reservation. We get your name and match you up with whatever boat you're on. We get a dock cart for you to get everything down to the vessel. Get you all checked out and we get a float plan for the day to uh, see where you're going. Rough estimation of what time you're coming back and how many people are going to be on board. And after we send you off, on your way back in, you just give us a call uh, as you enter our marina. And we come down to the fuel dock and get everybody offloaded, get the boat washed and fueled up for the next member and bring it back over to the slip. Hey everybody, Greg with Freedom Fishing. Uh, today I want to do a Freedom Boat Club review. I've not done this kind of video. Every video I've done so far has had fishing in it. And this is a Freedom Boat Club review. Uh, as you've seen in the beginning of the video, Josh showed us around the St. Augustine Freedom Boat Club and showed us the different kind of boats that they have and Mike the manager down there set that up and allowed us to do that. So uh, thank you, Josh and Mike, for doing that for us. And the channel is Freedom Fishing. Those of you that have been watching, uh, you know it's Freedom Fishing. It's called Freedom Fishing because of the freedom of being on the water, how much I love being on the water fishing. And my wife, in turn, she loves being on the water, laying out and enjoying God's creation. So we just love the freedom of that. We also love the freedom that Freedom Boat Club gives us, uh, being on the water and different kinds of boats. If our grandkids are here, we can use a different boat. And so the channel was partly inspired by Freedom Boat Club. We've been members for about a year now, and what I want to do for just a couple of minutes is just give you my honest beliefs and pros and cons of the Boat Club. Obviously, I love the Boat Club, so this will be mostly the positive stuff, but I do want the channel to be real and genuine, and so I'm going to point out what, for me, are the biggest cons with the Boat Club, and if you're thinking about joining the club, hopefully this will help you uh, make that decision. So first of all, uh, let's talk through the, the pros of the, the boat club. So we're members here in Jacksonville. There's three locations. There's the Jacksonville Beach location up on Beach Boulevard. There's a Julington Creek location, which is over near Julington Creek and on the St. John's River. And then there's the St. Augustine location. And that's the one most of my filming is done from. So when you're a member of this franchise, there's Freedom Boat Clubs all over the country. And again, I am not sponsored by Freedom Boat Club. I'm not an employee of Freedom Boat Club. I get no money for this. I, I wish that were the case. I'm a new channel, 238 subscribers, I think, as of this morning. And so I get nothing from this other than just helping you and helping grow my channel. And so what I say here is just my opinion and my belief and has nothing to do with the boat club or what they've asked me to say because they've asked me to say absolutely nothing. And so they have Freedom Boat Clubs all over America, which is one of the advantages when we joined of what we liked about it. And then we are members of the franchise here in Jacksonville. So our membership includes boats from either Jack's Beach, Jointon, or St. Augustine. So we can make a reservation on our app to one of those locations and use those boats. And that's all a part of our initiation fee that we paid and part of our monthly fee that we pay as well. And so that's one thing we love about the club. We can go to Jack's Beach and go to the jetties and fish up there in the northern part of Jacksonville. We can go to St. Augustine, my wife's favorite spot and my favorite spot. We can be offshore quickly watching the dolphins, uh, the water's a little bluer down there, or we can just hop on a pontoon boat over at Julington Creek and head over to Clark's Fish Camp and go and go have dinner, which we did that recently, as a matter of fact, last week with some friends. So our number one pro is the fact that we have three different locations here in town. Reciprocal reservations is another huge advantage. When you join Freedom Boat Club, you can use one of the clubs anywhere in America. You get a reciprocal reservation, which so next month, uh, about Three and a half weeks from now, my wife and I celebrate our 35th wedding anniversary. We're going to Detroit, Michigan, which is the number one destination of people going on anniversary trips. Of course not. We're going there because I'm a huge sports fan. I'm a Detroit Tiger, a Lion, a Wolverine fan. And I moved away when I was a kid and I've never been to a sporting event in the state of Michigan. So we're gonna go see the Tigers on a Friday night, the Wolverines on a Saturday, and the Lions on a Sunday. But on that same trip, we're gonna go on the Detroit River and a Freedom Boat Club boat as a part of our membership with the club. No additional cost. We'll pay for the fuel while we're there and that's it. And I'm gonna film a video catching a walleye, hopefully, on the Detroit River. So reciprocal reservations is a huge advantage to Freedom Boat Club. The other advantages and more pros about the boat club is the maintenance of a boat. When you have a boat breakdown, I've owned two boats in the past. And when you have a boat breakdown, if you're not a handyman and really good at fixing things or a handy woman, it's expensive. You're off the water, you can't go out, and it's a very expensive venture to have a boat 
and to take care of the cost and the repairs. Thirdly, storage cost. Uh, we paid $250 a month when we lived off of Lake Lanier in Atlanta for storage for our boat. Our monthly membership fee right now is just over $200. The membership fee, not counting a, a boat payment and storage. And so from a cost point of view, we feel like Freedom Boat Club's a great value. There's an initiation fee, a one-time fee, anywhere from like four to $7,000, maybe what you'd put down on a down payment on a boat. And then there's the monthly cost. And then of course the fuel you use. So the, the way it works, the initiation fee, monthly fees, and then we go out in the boat and we use the boat for the day. When we come back that evening, there's gonna be a charge on my credit card for the fuel that we use for that day. My wife and I don't go very far. Honestly, for us, it's literally between 20 and $30 in gas a day because we stay pretty close to the marina unless I go offshore fishing. So that's another huge advantage for us is the cost. We believe it's more, more efficient and a better value than owning your own boat. And maybe the best part of it, all of it, is the selection of boats. So there's 39 boats in the St. Augustine location. There's five different types of boats and Josh just covered those. So we can go on a dual console if we want. We can go on a flats boat if it's just me. I wanna to get to some skinny water and look for some redfish tailing. Like uh, my picture back here, one of my employees, Chris Degree, that works with me, painted that for me. If I'm gonna go look for redfish in the skinny water, I can get a flats boat. Or we can get a bow boat or my wife can lay out up front. Or we can get an offshore boat and go offshore fishing. So we have a, a lot of selection with the boats. If you own a boat, that's the kind of boat you own. And when I owned a boat in Lake Lanier in Atlanta, we had a, a deck boat that was more suited for our teenage kids to go tubing and wakeboarding. So I had to fish off of a non-fishing boat. And that's just not, that, that's just really not effective or fun. And so having a different selection of boats is a really big advantage. And then pro, and one more pro is the service. We love the service we get. We make a reservation on the app or we call and talk to somebody. We show up, the boat's ready. We jump in the boat, it's fueled up, it's ready to go. We go out for the day. When we get back, we take our trash, our stuff off the boat. We tip the guys, not a requirement. We tip the guys because of the great service we get. We get in our car and we go home. Those guys clean it and they get it ready for the next uh, member. If you own your own boat and you're done for the day, you know what that means. You got to trailer it in most cases, clean it, take it home, take it to the storage place. It's an hour to two hours more work when you're finished. And at Freedom Boat Club, we're in the car, we're gone and we're done. And we can go home and shower and, and enjoy the rest of our evening. So that's another huge advantage with Freedom Boat Club. So those are really most of the pros of what we really like about it. Now the two cons that I would mention, because I love to fish, these are both really kind of fishing related. The first one is there is no trolling motor. And I would really like for there to be a trolling motor. Uh, it would help in some scenarios when I'm fishing, but it's not the end of the world. I'm able to work around it and I still catch plenty of fish. But a trolling motor would be nice and you can't put a trolling motor on they used to have them and there were too many problems and too many accidents and candidly the members broke them too often and so they just can't do trolling motors any longer so that's a con for me the other one is uh, those of you that might be weekend warriors those of you that might work a monday through friday type of job and you can only go on the boat on the weekends or the evenings the weekends if you wake up saturday morning and decide you want to go out on a boat and you want to get a reservation chances are you're probably not gonna get one Saturday morning for Saturday. You've got to plan ahead of time. And if you if you book it four, five, six, seven days at a time, in some cases you'll get it. You gotta to, got to plan as far out as you can for the weekends. Now I can get a Sunday from you know an afternoon boat a lot of times on a Friday, I can get that reservation. But if you're really looking forward to going and there's no boats available, that's a con. For sure that's a con. Now I'm off on Thursdays, I'm a retail guy. And so I work a lot of weekends. So I typically am off Thursdays and Sundays. I can wake up any weekday on Thursday morning and I can get a boat almost 100% of the time because boats are available during the week. Sunday, I have to have a reservation ahead of time. So for example, I booked yesterday, Sunday, a boat for next Sunday and there was one available. And because there's three locations, I can look at all three locations and get a boat. So the two cons would be no trolling motor and the, the reservation piece. If you really want to be on a boat, and the weather's beautiful and you wake up and there's no res there's no boats available, you can't go out. And they can't have 100 boats. I mean, St. Augustine has 39 boats. So they have a lot of boats. It's just, there's a lot of members too. So it, for, for us, it works out fine. Very few times have we not been able to go out, but there have been a few times we couldn't get a reservation because we didn't plan ahead of time. So those are the pros and the cons from my point of view for Freedom Boat Club. We absolutely love the club. We've gone to Tampa Bay on a reciprocal 
uh, reservation, uh, Mississippi, and now we're going to Detroit. And then we're planning a trip to the Keys. Me, I'm gonna do a guy's trip with some guys and go down to the Keys. And so that is a really big advantage too. I'm not gonna trailer my boat to Detroit next month because I don't have a boat to go fishing and I wouldn't do that anyway. I'm gonna show up at Freedom Boat Club, hop in my boat, go out for the day, come back, they're gonna take care of the boat and they're gonna put the fuel on my, uh, my credit card. We have insurance through the club too. It's $500 what we pay, uh, peace of mind insurance to get a really low deductible if something goes wrong. And then one more piece too, if something does go wrong. Um, I've been a member for a year now, three times in the past year, believe it or not, yesterday was one of those three times where I've been on the water and had some kind of issue with the boat. And I've probably been out in a year. I mean, I've been out 40, 50, 60 times. I've been out a lot. I love to go out fish and I started the YouTube channel recently. Three times something's gone wrong. The first time the boat wouldn't start and Josh in St. Augustine brought us, brought out another boat. He had one available. He hooked up next to us. He got that boat started, but he put us in the other boat just so there were no more issues. We continued our day. The second time the boat would not plane. We got out of the marina and it was just staying up like this. It would not plane out. And so we just turned around or back in the marina. Again, fortunately there was a boat available. They put us in another boat. And then yesterday I was out by myself and the boat would just not start. I was anchored up, I was fishing, catching some really big mangrove snapper and catching some redfish and the boat just wouldn't start. And so uh, Gavin, I was at Jack's Beach, Gavin, I called, spoke to Brandon, the manager. Gavin drove out, changed my battery for me on the water, made sure I was good to go. He took off and I had a boat for the rest of the day. So if that was my own boat, I'm either A, having to fix it myself, which is not possible, ask my wife, she'll tell you, I could not fix it, or B, my day's ruined. I gotta get towed back in, trailer my boat, come home, figure out what's wrong, and get someone to take care of that for me. So that's another great thing about Freedom Boat Club. So again, we're in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm sure the other Freedom Boat Clubs are similar. There might be some variations. Uh, we, we know the service couldn't be better than it is here because the service we get from those guys is really, really, really good. So I hope this answered some of your questions if you're thinking about Freedom Boat Club. Uh, Bill is the director of sales here in Jacksonville. I've never met Bill, by the way. I've talked to Bill on the phone a few times. I've never met him. And so if you have questions, make a comment down below and I'll, I'll hook you up with one of those guys to answer any questions for you. And if you wanna reach out to me directly and have specific questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Again, I'm not an employee, I'm not sponsored. I'll just give you my honest opinion. And uh, you know, maybe, maybe Freedom Book Club's right for you and, and maybe it's not right for you. And hopefully this uh, helped answer some of those questions. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. We are doing a giveaway this month. Even if you don't love fishing, you can set up, you can uh, subscribe and make a comment on one of the Jack's Pier fishing videos. The month of August, We've got two Jack's Pier underwater footage videos. If you like and subscribe to the channel, and if you make a comment on one of those two videos, uh, September 1st, we're gonna draw a name and give away $100. So like, subscribe, and make a comment on one of those videos, and maybe you'll win 100 bucks. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.